Hi, happy Vlogmas Day 2. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful December. Today is Monday, December 2nd. It was um, definitely a Monday, especially a Monday after a long week off. Um, I think one of the hardest parts about having a nice week off with Thanksgiving is going back on Monday. Um, man, I was feeling it like at 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. I was just, my brain was tired. So um, it is about... 7 o'clock right now, it's the end of the day. It wasn't a very eventful day in any way, shape, or form, um, but this evening definitely picked up. Um, as you can see, I have some gifts under my tree. Um, my friend Meredith actually just got back from her Disney moon, and she spent all of Thanksgiving in Disney World, and she was so, so sweet and brought me back some stuff. Um, I'd asked her to pick up a couple of things for me and then she also got me some surprises as well. So um, already in the month of December, I am just reminded of how abundantly blessed I am with some really amazing friends who are very, very thoughtful. So Meredith, um, thank you so much for bringing these gifts and I'm excited to share this with you. So if you are new here, Welcome, my name is Lori. This is my little place on the internet where I share all things Disney planning and crafting related. Those are things that I really, really enjoy. And um, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thank you so much for being a part of this community. And I'm excited to share with you my spoils today that my friend spoiled me with. Um, so first of all, you can see I have these little presents right here. I asked uh, Meredith to pick me up some Rice Krispie Treats because the Rice Krispie Treats in Disney are so stinking good. And I know that you're just like, it's a Rice Krispie Treat, Lori. What can be so exciting about it? Um, it just tastes so much better. It really does. Like, I don't, it's, maybe they have extra magic, extra sugar. I don't know, but they're so good and I can't wait to have this. And so there's one for myself and one for my hubby so we can share and my mouth is already watering because these are going to be so, so good. So super excited to dig into those later. Um, I also asked my friend to pick up some little treats that are going to be stocking stuffers. Meredith also was super kind and got, oops, um, was super kind and got me a pin trading starter set. And the story behind the pin traders is actually that Meredith is the first person that I was with when I found out about pin trading. I had no idea what it was when we went to Disneyland um, years back. Oh my gosh, thinking about it. How long ago was it? I'll have to ask Meredith. It was a while back. Wow. Anywho, so we went to Disneyland and her friend worked there and introduced us to the world of pin trading. I had no idea that it was a thing. And I did buy a starter set, so my pink lanyard that had, I don't even remember what pins came on the lanyard, but um, it was a, I liked it because it was pink. And Meredith knows that I love Stitch, so she got me this starter Stitch, um, Lilo and Stitch pin set. And it comes with four pins, and it is so stinking cute. And I love that it's a pin trading um, starter set just because, you know, we were together when we first um, found out about it. And she admitted that she went a little crazy on pins when she went this year. And I told her that I don't blame her nor judge her because it just happens. When you're in Disney and you see all of the cool pins, you're just like, I need them all. Um, so this is so pretty. It's a really beautiful dark green with a light green trim on there and it says Lilo and Stitch and it probably helps if I put it the right way. It says Lilo and Stitch and then it has the really pretty um, the flower and one of the pins is Lilo in the vehicle and it has the bow on it. other one is when Stitch is baking his cake and then um, and the reason why she bought this was also because um, it had the seasons and it has Lilo and Stitch and their Halloween with um, like they're dressed up um, as a witch and like Count Dracula yeah like a vampire a vampire, not Count Dracula, a vampire. Stitch is dressed up like a little vampire and they have 
their pumpkins and of course Lilo's pumpkin is you know a traditional pumpkin and then you've got Stitch's super villainous looking pumpkin with the green face and then um so she she said that she wanted me to have this because I went to the Halloween uh Mickey's not so scary Halloween party this year and then um because I went to the very merry Christmas party the first time we went and she went to the party this time um, she wanted me to have a pin that was uh, reminiscent of Christmas time and so here you have Lilo and Stitch building the snowman it's so cute so I love these pins and I'm so excited to wear these and add these to the pin board that I made in one of my other videos um, they're so cute and not only did she get me those pins, she got me two other pins. Um, again, staying with the Christmas theme, she got me this really cute pin with Stitch, and it looks like he's going um, down a chimney, and he's got Scrump right there with him. Hopefully, that's zooming in. He got Scrump right there with him, and it is just so precious. And I really like that this pin itself. I don't know if you can tell, but the pin itself, um, it's got a little bit of dimension here with the bag, and the bag is not the enamel. The bag is actually kind of like a rubber texture, so it's a completely different texture than the rest of the pin, and I thought that was a really cool detail, and it's so cute. I love, oh, and I think, maybe I'm wrong, but is that a hidden Mickey right here in his... Let's see if it can focus. In the little berries, is that a hidden Mickey? It kind of looks like it. I don't know if it's picking up. Come on, camera. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that this is a hidden Mickey because to be a hidden Mickey, you need the three circles connecting from what I understand. And it does look like that. And I'm going to count it because I want to believe it's a hidden Mickey, but I do think it's a hidden Mickey. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but there are three little circles. Maybe I can take a picture and insert it in. Maybe that would be easier. So anyways, is that not the cutest pin? Oh, I love it. Love it, love, love it, love it, love it. And then this pin, I was super, um, surprised that she got it um, because this was actually in my cart. Um, I was looking at the Disney Shop Disney website and there was a Christmas ornament that I wanted to order and this pin that I wanted to order as little like stocking stuffers for my husband because he loves Wreck-It Ralph and I love Vanellope and we dressed up as Wreck-It Ralph and Vanellope this year for the um, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. And I thought that this was just super cute because it also reminded me of when we went to the Very Merry Christmas Party, um, their floats were really cool when we went and Ivan was super excited when Wreck-It Ralph came around. So I had this in my cart. I was actually going to buy this and um, I don't know what happened. I didn't end up purchasing it. It just sat in my cart for a while. Um, so I didn't buy it, but Meredith bought it for me. She was so thoughtful. She definitely knows me and she knows my husband and our interests and she knew that we would love this pin. So I'm really, really excited to share this with him. So thank you, Meredith. Thank you so, so much. Um, I hope that all of you are having a wonderful December. I hope that your day was fun. I hope it was more eventful than my actual day was, and it was just as eventful as my afternoon was. So um, I will see you all tomorrow. Take care. Bye.